Matt, tell us about uh, kind of going to come back into the competition realm. Mm -hmm. Okay. First off, what weight are you going to be at? 60 kilos. I'm going to wrestle 60 kilos. Okay, and why uh, do you feel maybe this is a better move um, to be at Penn to train? Or what, what, does it go into the decision to, to go back into the competition realm? Well, you know, what's going back into to competing? You know, why back at Penn? Was it not as, is this a better training situation? What are the reasons for going back into it, I guess? Sure. Uh, well, I actually started competing last year uh, in about October. And it was just kind of a, it wasn't a spur of the moment decision, but it was kind of a, a quick decision for me uh, to get back into it. And, and I had a pretty good training situation up in New York when I was there. Um, the situation trained a little bit, and after my results from the, from the year, um, I wasn't happy with how I did. And I, I knew that I, uh, for me a little bit, I had to, to make some adjustments to my training. And um, for me, coming down here, I think is important to my training. Uh, in a couple ways. One, I've got Coach Eider here, who uh, he's been on the Olympic team. He's been successful at the international level, um, and he knows freestyle. And, and to have that in my ear on a daily basis is going to be a huge benefit to me. Um, I've got a couple kids down here who have some uh, pretty good freestyle experience, who I'm on the mat with almost every day. And then I wrestle for uh, Lehigh Valley Athletic Club. Um, so I have Jason Kutz in my corner. Uh, and, and Coach Pat Santoro on my corner. Uh, so I'm about 40 minutes away from there, and I can cruise up to there on the weekends and, and train with those guys. Uh, so for me, training-wise, it's, it's a pretty good situation to help me improve and get better. Do you think you're going to be doing a lot of maybe international touring to try and get to maybe like Medved Tournament, some other tournaments like that where you can get some exposure to some other international competition? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd love to get overseas. Uh, I got overseas last year a little bit. I went to Bulgaria and Ukraine and didn't have the results that I wanted. Um, but I got a feel for some of these international guys and you know, kind of the, the Russian feel and, uh, and what those guys wrestle like. And it's completely different than anything you feel in the U.S. Um, it's almost an art form when you wrestle those guys. They're just picking you apart as you, as you wrestle. And, and uh, I loved it. I thought it was great. Um, you know, I really enjoy wrestling those guys because they make you think. And I'm a thinking wrestler and I, I like to adjust during matches and, and kind of figure out what's going to work as I go along. And uh, being overseas and wrestling those matches helps you understand what they're doing and, and kind of what you need to do to, to beat those guys at the, at the highest level. Okay, you're the highest level of competition in folk style. You're two-time NCAA champion. Do you think you're going to be able to, I guess, relate that and create the same type of success in the international realm? You know, it's definitely going to be an adjustment. Um, on the mental side of things, I think it's all going to be pretty similar. And my mental preparation... When I was wrestling folks, I think was one of my my strong points, um, and it's something I got away from a little bit in the last year. You know, I make make some mental adjustments, and in the next few years, as I as I prep for 2012, um, but on the technical and conditioning side, you know, I think it's going to be pretty similar. Obviously, the, the big adjustment is going to be the you know, top bottom where in folk style, I, I think I kind of established myself as a as a pretty solid top and bottom wrestler uh, in the scholastic style. Um, trying to bring that over to freestyle, not quite going to be the same. I have to kind of rework that whole system for myself, but I think it's something that I'm capable of doing. Do you think in the next year that, it, that it's feasible, starting from now until next year's uh, world team trials, do you think it's feasible to make that world team, or do you think that you're going to have to climb slowly to where you can be in a position maybe in 2012 to make the Olympic team? Uh, I mean, making the team next year is one of my goals. And I'm going to work my, my tail off to get there. And I, I believe that I can do it. Um, you know, I, I do have to make gains and I do have to make some adjustments. But um, I think if I wrestle well and I wrestle my ability, which I don't know if I've even done yet, but uh, if I can wrestle at the level that I, that I know I'm capable of, I can, I can be on that world team and be competing for a world title uh, in a year. Right, when are you going to start? Lending more knowledge with the blogs again, man. You've been kind of <laughs> been kind of slacking off. We we kind of been missing it. When are we gonna see another blog? I have been slacking on the blogs. I, I gotta pick some up soon. Um, I'll you just gotta change your profile pic. No, I do have to change. Maybe one of these snapshots I'm bit. taking will be your new. <laughs> get that new blue we, on, right? Hopefully we can get some of the new blue on there, or the old blue technically. But uh, I'll get some blogs going again, and hopefully get some good stuff out there before long. I think uh, I gotta gotta be careful. I don't start getting too intellectual and hang around all these smart guys all the time. <laughs> 
using words that I'm, I don't think, I'm not sure I know the meaning of. But uh, yeah, I'll, I look forward to getting back and blind again. All right, well, let's go check the uh, wrestling facility out here at Penn. And uh, hey, thanks for the time. Thank you.